This past summer in the city of Akron was one for the ages. Along with the Cleveland Cavaliers winning the city's first major sports championship in 52 years, LeBron James returned home to Akron in an unforgettable event in downtown Akron. But LeBron wasn't the only Akron export to return home. The inspirational film, Akron the Movie, made its anticipated return to Akron. It was also a homecoming for screenwriter and Akron native, Brian O'Donnell, who wrote, co-directed, and co-produced his first ever motion picture. Really, it's a, it's a star-crossed lovers kind of story. Um, uh, two young freshmen, two guys who meet here on, uh, on the University of Amber campus uh, playing field, uh, and they start a relationship. And the tension comes when, they, when it's revealed to them that there was a past tragic incident that was uh, between their two mothers. So they're torn between the love of their family and their mothers and the new romantic love uh, that they found in each other. Oldano gained the inspiration to write the Akron-based film through his personal experience growing up in Akron. Yeah, so as, as I said, I was born and raised here, and I'm a gay man, and I didn't really know that I was gay when I was growing up here because I didn't know a single out gay person. Uh, there wasn't any exposure to me back then and very little exposure in the media as well. Here in, here in the Midwest, there's a, there's a lot more acceptance than there used to be, so I found it to be more interesting to talk about it from that pers uh, perspective. With the LGBT community becoming more and more recognized in the Midwest, Oldano used this film to show the growth of their acceptance in today's society. It was important for me to have shots here, uh, as actually right behind you, there was a central shot of the two guys kissing right here in the middle of campus. And that was a really important scene for me to shoot because when I was younger, as I said, I didn't know anyone. Uh, and the idea of two men openly expressing their love outside in Akron was, seemed completely foreign and alien to me. Uh, and when we shot it here, we had plenty of spectators and they were all excited and there was not a, a single issue. When O'Donnell set the movie in the city of Akron, it was only right to shoot the college campus scenes here at the University of Akron. The University of Akron, I'll say, was incredibly supportive to us. They really gave us as much free reign as we could want uh, to shoot on campus. Um, as you said, you were in Gallucci Hall, which I believe is closed down now. Uh, they gave us the whole building when we needed to shoot some dorm buildings, so we didn't have to go around knocking on people's doors and asking them to turn their music down. Akron the film, a relatively low-budget movie, experienced a large amount of success once it hit the big screen in 2015 showing in over 20 festivals in eight different countries. We knew we were building a really special film, uh, so it's been really exciting for us to see it uh, grow. As you said, we've been in over 20 festivals and we screened in over eight countries, uh, so it's been a real treat. I've been able to go to the majority of those festivals. It's been a real treat to sit down somewhere like in Mumbai, India, and see Akron on the big screen. So it's, it's thrilling to be able to see uh, the local environments on the big screen and have a story of the Midwest told because to them overseas it's exotic. They don't get to see this. They get to see Hollywood, they get to see New York City, but to this them, they can really relate to it because uh, of the family nature, uh, of, the, of, the, of the more undersung characters. It remains unknown if Brian O'Donnell will ever make another film in Akron, but moving forward, one of his goals remains spreading LGBT awareness and acceptance through inspiring screenwriting and filmmaking. This has been Khalil Smith for Lights, Camera, Akron.